Hi guys, welcome to my latest invention with tea bags. We are looking at making some mushrooms. So I was playing around with this tag yesterday and I know I've got lots more work and room for playing around but I just want to share with you this technique as soon as possible so you guys can get out there and start maybe watercolouring, painting and making some mushrooms to go on some of your artwork. It's really quite simple, it literally is, is a small amount of wadding which I've just taken out of a cushion, some clean cotton wool buds and dare I say it, some round tea bags, a little bit of glue scissors and a hole punch. Let's see what we can do. So I'm going to use this little one as an example. We're going to start with the, the very large mushroom here on the right hand side because it's going to take a little bit of time because we're going to set it down to dry. So first of all, you need to take your tea bag and I've got a round tea bag and they happen to have perforated edges. If you are looking for a tea bag in the States or Canada or Australia, you could look for the brand Tetley. They have a tendency to do round tea bags. What I've done is I've taken out the dried tea and I'm just trying to find where I've cut it. So I've cut it and already removed the tea from inside and I've already placed a small, a pinch, just literally a small pinch of wadding and that purely is to give me a little bit more definition. So that's put inside. Our next step is to take a round tea bag because I'd like to actually have a bottom because we are going to put the cotton wool bud as a stem in the centre and I don't want us to be able to see that. You might be able to just poke it straight through into the tea bag but for the moment I have just done a little tea bag bottom. So taking a round tea bag, pair of scissors and I have cut round this perforated edge which has then separated the tea bag into two halves like so. Taken a hole punch and punched in the centre and as we've got two sections we're only going to need one so I've separated them like so. If you've got a perforated edge then save it because this is what made the real bottom of these mushrooms here was just that scrunched up tea bag waste. So let's go and head and take you to the next step. So this is where we're going to apply a bit of glue to the centre of our tea bag and where I'm just going to try and find that opening. So I'd like that opening to be at the bottom because in that way we can glue. And I'm just using some strong clear glue for the moment here. And I'm going to get into a bit of a pickle. Put it through your hole punch and then that's going to sit in the centre just for the moment. Pull that down because you don't really want that centre sticking yet and we need to put a glob of glue around the outside edge. Now this really is something that I was just playing with at the very last point of uh, Sunday evening so it's getting really quite tired and there's a lot of room for experimentation. But I just wanted to bring this out so I'm now going to put that tea bag and it doesn't matter where this goes because we need to do a little bit of scrunching because one thing about mushrooms they certainly don't all come in uniformed shapes which is pretty brilliant really and you don't actually have to iron your tea bags because you're not necessarily looking for that style of element now that is how that one is beginning to form a tea bag shape this one I've done earlier and as you can see so it's glued in, it's got its, its little bottom, it's got its hat on. Something you might want to do in advance is think about covering the cotton wool bud and I've just covered that with little scraps of tea bag and that would probably be easier 
to apply that straight away like so rather than covering it like I did at the end. So on this tag I literally covered this section with tea bags but whilst I'd have glued it all down to this tag. So that one you need to set aside and allow to dry. Then the other tea bags, same principle, opened up, pinch of wadding inside, a load of glue and then scrunched up and then a weight placed on top to allow it to dry. Once it's dried you will have something that looks very similar to these little scrunched up tea bags with a little bit of wadding. We then, I've moved away from my cotton wool bud and I've just literally, where is my paintbrush? I've rolled a round tea bag around a paintbrush and I've just made a cylinder and it's dried overnight. And so we've got a hollow cylinder here, a pair of scissors, just cut it anywhere and yet again it doesn't matter just look at the coloration just like the layering on a mushroom stalk so these will be our stalks for our mushrooms can you see how they're beginning to form and this little one here don't get me wrong I'm sure you could use your cotton wool buds again but that and then this little chap like so finishing touches so I'm gonna quickly grab this is just a wool blanket that's been tea stained and as you can see, you can see the pen mark where I've just drawn around it and cut it out. Because we're putting it on a tag, you do want to be considering having a little section here. This is obviously a 3D effect now, so it's going to pop. There's no two ways about it. So here's this little chap going down there. And you could, if you wanted to, I've got a little bit of sheen using this acrylic wax. So the difference is on this little chap, these are unfinished, and this one just gives another little piece of luster with the acrylic wax. I have a tutorial just explain what acrylic wax is and I'll just link it below. So that is the simple beginnings of how I went about making these mushrooms from tea bags and hope that was of some help and I'm sure I will improve the method and share with you my further results. Take care guys. Bye bye.